Now we're going to go into markup. Markup is going to be what, stews you, what stores use to make a profit. Or any business uses to make a profit. If it costs them so much money to make something or to buy something, when they sell it, they're going to sell it for more money. The reason is they want to make profit. Notice again, we still have our bars to help us visualize and help organize the numbers and the percents and all that stuff. First problem says Ruby Slippers buys a pair of shoes for $38. If Ruby marks up the shoes 40%, what will she sell them for? This means that she has 100% which is the $38. But she goes and marks them up, meaning she's adding a percent on to give you 40%. This means that there is a total of 140% in this problem. Because we have to know the original price of $38, and then she has to mark it up. She's going to add money on. When we go to do our proportion... We have 100%, but she marked it up 40%, meaning you as the customer are now having to pay 140%. Her cost was $38, and her cost is the 100%, therefore that's going to go on the bottom. We cross multiply. And we get that the markup that you as the customer will pay is $53.20. So that $53.20 is what you as the customer would pay. It is not what she pays. For the equation, 140%, you move the decimal two spots and you get 1.40 of the $38 will give you the markup. So you multiply 38 times 1.40. Problem number two. A beach store pays $9.40 for a beach umbrella. The store's percent of markup is 75%. What's the retail price? So the store pays 100% of the cost, and they paid $9.40. They marked it up 75%. Meaning that you as the customers are going to pay 175% because you're paying the 100% plus the markup. The $9.40 is what the store pays, which is what the 100% represents. So think of it as customer pays on top, store pays on bottom. We cross multiply like normal. So it costs the store $9.40. It will cost you $16.45. For the equation, for those that want to solve it by the equation, we get 1.75 because for 175%, you move the decimal two spots to the left. And the store paid $9.40, which is the whole cost. You multiply those two together to get your markup of $16.45. Again, retail price is going to be what the store is going to sell it for. It's what you are going to pay. Wholesale price is what the store pays. Retail price is what you pay. A clothing store pays $45 for a jacket. The store's percent of markup is 75%. What's the retail price? The bar represents 100%. 
and it says the store paid $45, so the store is going to pay that 100%. They marked it up 75%. This means there is a total of 175% that you as the customer will pay. So it's 175 over 100, and it's going to be your variable, in this case, M, over 45. 45 is what the store pays, 100% is what the store pays. Therefore, those need to be on the same side of the ratio bars. 175% is your percentage that you pay. M is going to represent our retail price that you pay. Cross multiply as you normally would. So we get that you as the customer will spend $78.75 when the store only spent $45 on the exact same coat or jacket. For the equation, for those that like the equation, you move the decimal one two spots to the left and you get 1.75% on that $45 jacket that the store bought and you want to know what the markup or you want to know the retail price because they marked it up 75%, so you multiply 1.75 by 45. Looking at page 16, a store pays $1.50 for a bag of candy. By this point, we know that that 100% bar, the store is going to pay $1.50. It's going in the bar. If the store wants to mark up the price 60%, how much will the store sell the bag of candy for? They have added on 60%, meaning that you, the customer, are going to pay 160% for that bag of candy. The store pays 100% of the cost, which is 150, and that's why the 150 is going to go on the bottom with the 100. We cross multiply. And we get that you, the customer, are going to pay $2.00 and 40 cents for that dollar fifty bag of candy. If you're doing the equation, the dollar fifty is your entire amount the store paid. You are paying 160 percent, which is 1.60 because you move your decimal two spaces back. And we don't know how much you're going to pay, so we multiply 1.50 times 1.60. The second one on page 15, on the page 16, if the wholesale price of a pair of shoes, that's what the store pays, is $32.25 and the markup is 105%, find the retail price of the item. We know that this bar represents 100% of the item. The store's wholesale price was $32.25. And they added on 105%. This means that you, the customer, are going to pay 205% for the retail price. So it's 205 out of 100. And that 32.25 is what the store paid. That's the wholesale price. So it's going on the bottom. Retail price is what you pay. We cross multiply like normal.
and we get 66.1125, but we know that the 2 is going to make the 1 stay the same. Therefore, we get $66.11 is what you, the customer, will pay for a pair of shoes when the store only paid $32.25 for them. For the equation, you're paying 2.05% because we move the decimal one, two spaces on $32.25. And you're wanting to know what the retail price is, so we multiply 32.25 times 2.05. And the last one. If the retail price of an item is $65 and the markup is 50%, find the wholesale price. So we know the bar represents 100%. And we know they added on 50%. Therefore, that $65 is represented in the whole 150%. It is not just represented in the 100%. It's not just represented in the 50%. 100% is what the store paid. Well, when we read the question, that's what we're looking for is the wholesale price. So we're not looking for the we're looking for the hundred percent. We don't know it. It is not how much was added onto the price, the markup. That's the fifty percent. Sixty five dollars is when you take the retail price and the markup and you put them together, because that's going to represent the retail price, meaning what you pay. So if you pay a hundred and fifty dollars, a hundred fifty percent, that's you paying the sixty five dollars for whatever this item is. We do not know the wholesale price, meaning what the store paid to get it to be able to sell it in their store. So we multiply like normal. Excuse me, cross multiply like normal. And we get approximately 43.3 repeated because we're talking money. 3 makes 3 stay the same. Therefore, the wholesale price is going to be $43.33. So the store bought it for just over $43 and you're paying $65. That is how it works. That is how they make a profit. 150%. As a decimal is 1.5 or 1.50. We know this because we move the decimal two places to the left. And the $65 represents the part because it's the 65. And we're looking for the wholesale price. So to find the wholesale price, we take $65 and we're going to divide it by our percent as a decimal, which is 1.50. And you'll still get the same answer.